morning, friends. It's Miss Bailey here. Our Bible story today is about a group of people who had to be good listeners. Are you a good listener? Great. I can't wait for us to listen to our Bible story together. For the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about people in the Bible who were able to do great things because they heard from God and they listened. Before we get into our story, let's sing a song together. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 Philippians 4, 6, and 7 Philippians Do not be anxious About anything But in everything By prayer and petition With thanksgiving Present your request to God do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Thanksgiving, present your request to God And the peace of God Which transcends all understanding Will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus The peace of God Which transcends all understanding Will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus This week's big idea is God gives extraordinary peace. Can you say that with me? God gives extraordinary peace. Great job. Now it's time to find out what this week's Bible story is about. Hey there, can I tell you something? Sometimes I feel pretty ordinary, not very special. Do you ever feel that way? But you know what? God can do extraordinary things with ordinary people like you and me. That's exactly what Gideon, the guy in today's story, learned too. Gideon was an Israelite, one of God's special people. But they were going through difficult times because they weren't following God. Every time they tried to plant crops, a tribe called the Midianites would come and destroy them. This went on for seven long years. But one day an angel appeared to Gideon and told him God was going to save the Israelites and Gideon to help. Gideon wasn't so sure about this plan. He said, why me? I'm just an ordinary guy. But the angel insisted Gideon was the one God had chosen. Gideon said, no way. And the angel said, yes way. He told Gideon God had chosen him and would give him strength. But Gideon still wasn't sure. So he asked God to perform some miracles. Prove it, he said. That night, before Gideon went to bed, he placed a fleece blanket on the ground. He told God, 
If you're going to do what you say you are, let the fleece be wet and the ground be dry in the morning. And you know what? That's what God did. So Gideon said, wait, reverse that. One more time. I'll put the fleece out. Let the ground be wet and the fleece be dry. And again, that's exactly what God did. And when Gideon saw what God had done, it gave him confidence for the job ahead of him. He knew God had chosen him and would be with him. Gideon knew that God gives extraordinary peace. Who was the man in our Bible story today? That's right, his name was Gideon. What special job did God have for Gideon? Yes, God wanted Gideon to free the Israelites. Did Gideon think God would do what God had promised? Maybe, but he wasn't sure at first. So Gideon asked God for signs that God would do as he promised. How did God give extraordinary peace to Gideon? God gave Gideon the signs he asked for. God wanted Gideon to know that God would always be with him. God asked Gideon to do a special job, but Gideon thought God picked the wrong person. But God loved Gideon, and God was patient with him and proved Gideon had heard God correctly. Even though Gideon felt he was ordinary, God made sure he knew that with God's peace on his side, Gideon was extraordinary. God thinks you're extraordinary too. You're a very special person made to do big things for God. See you next time.